there, friends. It's me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with a fancy lesson for our logo houses. So make sure you've loaded your logo house, and when you do CS House, you'll notice it should show up like this on your screen. Make sure that you've got everything colored in before you go to this step. This is advanced. Uh, it's also really cool. I'm also going to explain this white space over here on the side. Logo, the version we have, only goes to about a thousand over on the screen and our screens are much larger than that. So if that bugs you, just shrink it down till it's the exact size. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do something totally awesome. Let's click the help button and find the index. When this appears, stretch out the corner so that you can actually read it. It initially comes in pretty small. And then in the search box, type WIND so you can get to the window create command. When you double click it, it explains all the ways that this works. It talks about the positions, the width, and the height. We want to simply go down to this example and copy it all. Right click copy. We can move this across so that we can look at it later, but that's really all we need. And then we're going to do file edit and make a brand new word called remote because we are going to make an epic remote control. When you get in the remote, simply do edit paste and then this is super important we don't need a button that does push we do need a button that does window delete if you ran this right now it would just flat out break so cut the window delete command and put it inside the brackets where the pushed was now since this button is no longer going to do the little push command we need to change it to be the close command so you've got the label close. It's still going to be in the my window. It's still going to be called my button and it's going to close it. When we do file save and exit, now if we type remote, this confuses a lot of people. It shows up up in the air, but that is what that first zero zero was. And it now has a button called close that was 25 over 25 down and shows up. Click close and let me show you how to make this way, way, way more epic. Click your file edit, find your word remote, and choose OK. Let's tweak a few things in our creation. Uh, first, let's change it so that our remote control is 50 wide and 100 long. And let's change where this button shows up to be at 0, 0. And I don't mind it being 25 long because that's half of my 50 wide, but 25 for the size of the button is kind of silly, so make it 10. And then we need to change this to instead of my button, we're going to start becoming more specific and we need to make it my close. When we do file save and exit, this time when we launch the remote, notice we've got a close button. We've got a silly word my title, but we've now got a 25 by 10 button happening at 00. zero. Let's hit close, file edit, and let's go back into that remote command and let's make it a little fancier. Instead of my title, let's put our name up there. I'm going to put Mike's remote. Notice it has to be connected, so I'm going to do Mike's dot remote. And then I'm going to make a second button. Simply do control C and control V. We still want all of these to show up in my window, so that part stays the same. It needs a new name. I'm going to have this one be called My House. The button is going to be House. And then it's going to be located still at zero um, on the Y, but 25 over on the X. So that way these two will both be at the zero height. There'll be one at zero and there'll be 125 over. And then the commands for this one will be to draw the house. If we do file, save, and exit, I'm going to hit CS to clear my screen. That'll also probably be a clue as to what we're going to make next. I'm going to double click on my remote. You notice it shows up nice and nifty right here. And if I click the word house, my entire house draws just like that so it's important to note that every time we build a button we need to close it and then let's find a fancier way to get into our project 
simply type edit with just the one quotes and then type remote and it will instantly take you back. Just remember you don't put the second quotes after it. I'm going to copy the line I just built. Do control C and control V and then like we said we need a my clear screen. So I'm going to type uh, clear. I'll make it short and this one will simply have the label CS. I like to space these out so that they line up. That way I can keep track of my X movement, my Y movement, and the size of the buttons. I want this one to be at zero over, and I want it to be 10 down. I'm gonna have to add a space to all of these now that I finally got the two digits. It's still gonna be size 25 and size 10, and I'm gonna change this word house to clear screen now. Let's do file save and exit, double click on our remote, and now I can clear the screen, click house, close my remote, all off this sweet little remote. Then I can double click my old edit remote and get in and make my next button. You need to make at least 10 buttons. Just remember the steps are, you're always gonna have one at zero and then the second one for each row is gonna be at 25. When you copy and paste the buttons, you have to come up with what the next button is gonna be. I'm gonna make one called pen up, so my PU. And then I'm going to label it as pen up. Before I go to the next piece, I'm going to push these over so once again they line up. And then this button has to happen at the 25 over, but it has to be 10 down. It works if you don't line up the code, but later as you start building more and more of these buttons, it really helps if they are lined up. So you can see here I've got two at the Y of 0 and I've got 2 at the Y of 10. All my buttons will be 25 by 10 and then inside the brackets I simply have to put the command that I want to happen. As I mentioned earlier you need at least 10 of these buttons. If you end up that your remote needs to be longer you can simply make it 200 high. Uh, you can go through and build all of these just make sure they each have their own name. The labels can be really whatever you want. The locations will be 00, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40. And then inside the brackets, you need the amazing commands that you want to happen in your sweet remote control. So make sure, friends, that you add all of your labels. Make sure you save it. Make sure you save your whole project. Totally impressed with what you're creating. Make sure you show me how the remote works before you're done. Friends, if you like this movie, please hammer that like button. If you got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mud Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.